How's it going? Welcome back to another Summoner's Creed video. Going to be reviewing Artemis today. So Artemis was released, I believe, today as of the time I'm recording this video. But Artemis is the Greek god of hunting wild animals and the moon. Do you think animals pray to the moon to stop her from hunting them? She's also Zeus's daughter. She shoots deadly arrows towards her target and she never misses. 420 base attack with a fast attack speed and then her special power, Creature Stampede. Playing her harp, she summons a stampede of woodland creatures that crush enemies underfoot. Watch out. Okay. So, seems like she is a DPS-centric monster, just from reading her descriptions. I'm going to test out to see if she has any sort of elements attached to her here. You did see a glimpse of her ability there. It looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Not really sure how it will uh, improve or weaken with, with level ups and uh, more difficult challenges, I guess. But it looks like she's not fire or lightning element. I don't think she'll be water, but I'll check here. I am just testing this with the, what's it called? I am just testing this with the Greek gods to see if she will receive any sort of buff. I mean, I should probably check in the challenges themselves as well, right? I guess if her ability could have any sort of uh, element, that could be a possibility. I, I think it won't though. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she would have any sort of element, especially considering the current elemental Greek gods. But yeah, so she is going to be a DPS centric monster. It looks like she won't have any use in the elemental challenges. I want to now see if her ability has any sort of a global function, right? Because I understand that she was able to utilize her ability when at a close distance with enemies. But placing her in the back row here, looks like she will not be triggering her ability, which means that her ability does not have any sort of global nature, which means that combined with her normal range, she's not going to be helpful in your classical farming setups. That sort of restricts her only possible uses to being in the very early game, which is where most units can do well anyways or as a nightmare level clearer, right? Just putting her up in... Well, I should probably try her in JR Nightmare, right? Let's try her in JR Nightmare. I'm going to get her to level 400 with double buffs first, and then I'll see how well she can do after that. But I do have high hopes for her being a good carry in the nightmare levels. Otherwise, she won't really see a good use anywhere else, considering that the other parts of uh, the game, she's outclassed by other units or just not very good. So I'll get her to level... Hmm. How about level... Yeah, I'll just get her to level 350 first, I guess. It's been a while since I upgraded a monster. I mean, I got everything maxed out with CMG a while back. So it'll be interesting to see how she'll do here. Yeah, level 350, I'll stop upgrading her. But at the moment, I don't really have high hopes for uh, for Artemis right now. She seems like a pretty, pretty useless monster, uh, considering that, yeah, her damage here is not really that high either. So let's just get her to level 400, see how that works out. And then I'll try level four. Well, I'll try going up in increments of 10 after that. All right, looks like she does decent damage at level 400. A uh, decent attack speed as well. Okay, she doesn't really damage the bosses though. So let's get her to level 410 and see how well she can do against these nightmare units. But it's really not looking so good for Artemis right now. Okay, I'll get to level 420. But if at level like 430 or so, she still can't really handle the nightmare enemies. I think she's pretty much like one of the most useless mythics out there. Let's get her to level, let's get her to level 435. I think that's what I did with Hanzo. And Hanzo is able to perform pretty well. Okay, still not one-shotting the enemies here. Which is not that great, right? If you're not one-shotting even the most basic enemies, uh, you're definitely going to have a difficult time against the bosses here. So it looks like Artemis can be an alright carry for the Nightmare levels. I mean, I don't know. Let's try level 450 because if your Nightmare carry is not even one-shotting the smaller units, I don't think they can deal with the... A higher level or higher sort of HP bosses and uh, rock breakers as well, right? Because you have to worry about the berserkers, you have to worry about chieftains, you have to worry about champions, and I guess Artemis can serve as a decent sort of nightmare carry. As you're seeing here, she does need quite a few power stone upgrades to get her to a point where she's capable of one-shotting even smaller enemies, but her ability isn't bad, right? Stampede is not a bad ability for clearing. Uh, seeing how well she can do against a shaman here, I mean, yeah, even at level 450, she can't really solo this way with double buffs, so. I will get her to, like, level 480 here and see how well she can do, but honestly, Artemis is a DPS-centric unit that finds no value in elemental challenges, no value as a classical farming support unit, um, not too much level as a nightmare main damage, so I think Artemis is really not that great of a mythic overall. Uh, probably the worst out of the current Greek mythics, considering that the other ones at least can find use in the elemental challenges among other things as well, but, yeah, I know, Artemis is, uh, 
is just not that great of a unit. Even at a high, high power zone level here, she's having trouble dealing with all the nightmare enemies. And I think overall her use is a little bit limited, uh, considering that she has a, yeah, decently low DPS cap, I would say. Uh, the ability itself is not bad, but it doesn't really make up for the fact that she's lacking in so many other departments of her kit, um, such as the overall range and again, element. So I think overall Artemis is a is a pretty bad mythic, uh, probably in contention for being one of the worst mythics, right? Maybe maybe even uh, a little bit similar to boss debt, but yeah, I would say she's really not that great. And I got a pretty poor first impressions of her. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, these are just my first, very first uh, impressions of the new Artemis monster. Um, let me know how you feel about her. I don't, I don't think she's that great. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see ya.